on in. Okay, so it's it's Monday, and I'm having a salami sandwich, and I think I've got at the end of my vegetables here. I actually had some some green vegetables and some carrots in here. I was so eager to eat them that they're kind of already gone. I know who the new spokesperson for this this you know this younger movement is is Cam Newton. So obviously he did he had a pretty good weekend. So. <laughs> We do have some FTAs, some staff people here at Andy Mark that were out at first headquarters in Manchester that went to FTA training. I, I hear they had a great trip. There's some FTAs that didn't make it out because of the snow. I hear there's a lot of snow on the East Coast. I'm glad that our folks made it back. Maybe Brett can go around and ask each one of them um, maybe a few sentences or one sentence each about how their experience was at headquarters was this weekend. Well, one of the important parts that we did go over at FTA training was that the on the VRM there is last year's model does have the nice sticker on it that says for radio or it says radio and that's your input parts. Uh, this year's radio is actually not five volts, so you want to use the 12 volt side and you want to make sure you're using two amps, not just the 500 milliamps. Otherwise, it'll do crazy things, is what they said. What they said. What first said? What happens when you plug it into five volts? It doesn't even power on. If you plug it into five volts, it doesn't even power on. So one of the cool things we le learned this week at FTA training is that uh, first is doing a lot of hardware changes to help out with field connectivity. Uh, this should hopefully help improve the experience of teams. Okay. And we're really excited to see how it turns out after the first week. One of the positions that we learned about uh, this weekend at training was the defensive coordinator position, which is a new volunteer position for this year. Basically, the defensive coordinator is going to sit by the field and teams will go and they will report on which defenses that they want to choose for their opponents to cross and will also get a receipt that shows what defenses have been chosen for the match that they're going to be in. So it's important to make sure you know where your defensive coordinator is for your event and that you are on time to your matches this year so you can make sure that you choose your defenses. As Andy said, we just got back from FTA training, a handful of us, and one of my biggest takeaways from the whole weekend is that it's impressive how much effort first puts in to making sure FTAs have as much information as possible. When you're at an event and you think something's going wrong with your robot or something is, seems strange about the field, talk to your FTA. The staff at first is amazing. We spent a lot of time with some amazing people out there. They're all wonderful and they all have many things in common, one of which is that they want your team and your robot to perform as best as it can. I really appreciate how much effort they put into making sure FTAs like myself and all the other FTAs around the world can do everything in our power to help you guys at your events. So we've got some questions regarding the open mesh radio. So the open mesh radio is the radio that everybody got this in their kit of parts. Rookies and veterans, this is the new radio for your robot. They're asking how to get it connected in your, to your robot and how to drive it in your workspace. And that information is on our website. We just recently updated this. If you go where it says FRC teams, look here. You can go to the first control system webpage for FRC hosted by WPI and it shows you how to get your radio working for for what they call home use or at your, at your shop home. I saw on Chief Delphi, Frank had a nice story from Team 1189, the gearheads, and how they came up with a game proposal this year that almost matched and really enhanced the game design process for FRC. So kudos to the gearheads for putting in the effort to help out the rest of us at first for coming up with a cool game. As far as our products, we did open up orders for Rhino track drives today and some more ribbed pneumatic tires. We do have a lot of these in stock today. We're going to have some more this week. And, and there's other, there's lots of other vendors out there selling these things. I noticed a, cu a couple threads on Chief Delphi that showed a lot of different vendors where you can find 8 inch pneumatic tires and tubes. If it's a 200 by 50 millimeter tire, it most likely fits our hub. Have a good week and uh, keep building and we'll see you on Wednesday. Can I, can I, do, can I do my version of me on the website? Yeah. I said the part about the receipt, right? Yeah. yeah. Yay! It was a good weekend, it was a good trip. 
and words and things. Wizards and sorcerers, and what else happened between the tops? Can you make eye contact with the camera? Or all of it, most of it, <laughs> some of it. <laughs> I got all some of it. That we understand the importance is on shutting off the heater before you film. She's a brick house.